wave, 44 kilo, 44 one kilohertz, two two channels, stereo, a 16 bit. All right. I don't think it matters what bit rate it is. So keep your directory open where you have all your files. Open up the GEC and create your quest. You know. If you need uh, more info on that, just go get my tutorial on the Nexus. It's Crow's, tu uh, Crow's Dialogue tutorial, and that'll show you how to set up basic dialogue and stuff. Um, I'm assuming that you've already uh, read that, because um, I'm not going to explain how to create dialogue. So <clears throat> here you have all of your choices, all right? I'm going to do a greeting. Um, and show you how this works. All right, so select your greeting. Uh, in my file here, one of my greetings is "Can I help you?" So, what I'm going to do is create new and type "Can I help you?" Question mark. All right. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Ignore. OK. All right. So. You're going to have to have an NPC uh, to say this, otherwise you will seriously fuck up uh, the game. You have to have a specified actor to say this, alright? So, I forgot to set this up a while ago, but I can set this up very quickly. I'm just going to select a random NPC and make a new ID, alright? And, just a second... Now, um, I'm going to delete this template that he's got. All right, so um, computer is waiting. I got a lot of programs running, so bear with me. All right, so this is Doc Church. It's just whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, voice type. This is important uh, because this is what folder your uh, when the get creates a folder that other people are going to be placing in their voice folder for your mod it's going to place whatever voice you're using into uh, into whatever folder whatever voice type you select so I have seen uh, I usually use the unique characters um, I and I use Elder Scroll uh, Elder Lions first, uh, or for any main character, just because Elder Elder Lions doesn't have a lot of speaking roles in the game, so I feel kind of safe with that. And you can select all this other bullshit, but whatever. We're concerned with the voice type. All right, good. So select the voice type. Okay. Whatever. Uh, telling me that I need a unique ID which is fine all right so there we go so now that we got our unique ID guy we're gonna go back to our quest okay and go to topics and go to the greeting that we made can I help you we're gonna assign a speaker all right and you're gonna select the uh, ID that you put for your NPC. All right, very, 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 very important. All right, good. So now, when we double click on the "Can I help you?", we're only going to see one voice type coming up here. This is what you want. If you see a bunch of voice types down here, then you are going to get yourself in a shitload of trouble. I promise you. And and if you release a mod like that, a lot of people are going to be mad at you and you know, call your shit a dirty mod because it will be a dirty mod. And dirty mods suck. We nobody likes dirty mods. All right. So, click okay. And we're about to do the damn thing. So, um <clears throat> let's see here. We got our Fallout directory. Okay. Uh, which is sound, voice, and there we are. All right. Um, 
unless you have unless you haven't done dialogue before what well, let's say this way if you haven't done dialogue before and you haven't pressed this record button do so now and it will generate a temp file it's called temp wave all right now here's where things start to get a little tricky um, you don't want to open your folder with all of your files that you recorded and hopefully you recorded them well um, because I've heard I played some really cool mods that had some really great quest lines and what and whatnot but the voice acting was really bad and not only was the voice acting bad but uh, it was poorly recorded very poorly recorded I'm not saying my voice acting is awesome in fact it's shit that's why I get other people to do my voice acting but anyways you're going to you're going to rename it temp dot wave so this gets kinda crazy here uh, but what you're gonna do is you're going to open up your oblivion directory um, I said the get, the get directory but I was mistaken alright forgot so you're going to open up that first one that I was telling you about it says I can manage with a weapon or with spells but I've already been working with healing lately I'm pretty good at it alright so you're going to delete that and you're going to type in what your tech what your voice file says so mine says can I help you alright so you're going to do that and you're going to click record which in your oblivion directory will create a temp wave now go to your file that you should rename temp which is what I was saying before I got fucked up by hypercam uh, F2 rename it temp dot wave you must name it dot wave extension All right. And you're going to click and drag that into the Oblivion directory. And it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite. Yes, you want to overwrite. And then you're going to go into your response window and preview it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click Save. All right. All right. Now it's saved and it has generated a lip file so now what we do is we go into the oblivion directory oblivion esm all right which is okay this is where you this is where you just were and but you're going to go into the oblivion esm into nord m and then here is your uh, wave file and your lip file all right so now what you're going to do you're going to go into the GEC and open up your voice folder for Fallout. Open up your folder where your lip file and your... Alright, you're going to take your sound file from uh, the Oblivion directory. And um, you're going to rename it Temp. Alright. And you're going to replace the temp wave in the fallout 3 data sound voice directory okay you're going to overwrite it and back in your um, response greeting I mean your response dialog go ahead and preview it to make sure it's right once you've done that you're going to go ahead and save it alright sometimes it'll give you an error saying that there's no lip file uh, but that's fine, whatever. Alright, so what that'll do is it'll create a, a whole new directory. Uh, it'll be the name of your ESP uh, .esp folder. So, in order to get the lip file where we need it, we're going to have to go in there. So, in this case, my mod name is Maverick, and I'll go into my Maverick ESP folder in my data sound voice directory and I'll find this voice type. This is the voice type that we assigned to the NPC earlier 
Um, so 